supplies to the investigators. All right. Let's get started. One journey will end in purgatory, but let us pray that they who travel the depths of hell will this time reach paradise. This is the next one. No, not this one. Close, but not quite. Well, sir. Let me see that. Are you sure that this is the one, sir? Yeah. Thanks. Good to see you again. Forgive me for what I'm about to do.
Cover me! Need cover! Acknowledged. No can do. What's wrong with you? Enemy in sight! Move! Go, go, go! Sorry about that. Good luck. Give him hell! I owe you one! I owe you one! I owe you one! Give me cover! I need cover! Need cover! Cover me! Signal acquired. Collecting the package. This is practically an obsession with you. Soon, you'll have faith in this one, too. This soldier is the traveler we've been waiting for. The one who will bear the punishment for our having strayed from the paths of righteousness. You do like your poetic turns of phrase, don't you? But I'm not in the mood for them. I'll get straight to the point. I read the report. This one's infected. Yes. Which is what put the subject in suspended animation. But it won't be long before that ends. And then a threat to mankind becomes reality. That won't be the case. Why not? I told you, this soldier is a traveler. A traveler who is going to enter the gates of hell for us. What a ridiculous... Are you serious? After how long it's been since we've heard from the core? With the energy we have left, we don't even know if anyone we send would make it through. And you want to risk the fate of the section on this? An infected? That is why this one is the perfect candidate. This soldier cannot live in our world anymore. To put it another way, no one is more qualified to carry out a mission on the other side. Am I wrong? There's one other advantage that no one else has. Look at the left arm. It's just an arm. That arm was lost six months ago when it was severed. What? And yet, it regenerated. A result of the infection-stimulating tissue growth. 
nothing we haven't seen before. Except this time, we're talking about human tissue. Evidence of remarkable adaptation against the infection. With the dead running rampant on the other side, this one is more than capable of responding to the threats there. 1943, Philadelphia, teleportation. That experiment gave us our first glimpse of the future. Now this soldier can give us everything we've been after ever since. All we've done is continue to fail, including six months ago. We cannot take a chance on ideas with no basis in reality. There is a basis for this. Those who have descended to hell are able to see further than others, Gruen. Another one of your prophecies. Enough of that nonsense. My proposal will bring glory to the section and to you. You intend to use this one as a test subject in the future, don't you? But any results of those efforts would be trivial. If this mission succeeds, the rewards will be immeasurable. Think of the research and how it's stagnant. Better yet, this could lead directly to the power that unites the world. I'll get the section on board. After all, you acting on your own authority would be unforgivable. I'll give you instructions in due course. Until then, do not take matters into your own hands. Don't take matters into my own hands, huh? How blissfully unaware they are. The future is in my hands. Standing in Dite, the world beyond the wormholes. Abandon all hope from here on, not to mention fear and doubt. Your Beatrice is waiting up ahead. Better get going. As I mentioned in the briefing, first order of business is to head for base camp. On site for this mission. Same goes for food. To enter the gates of hell, you have to I'm monitoring your status over comms via the wormhole. Oh, guess I never introduced myself. <laughs> Call me Good Luck. Not a bad name for the pilot of this ship, huh? Your life is low. That's to be expected, though. You just came out of suspended animation. But if your life runs out, you'll just be another one of them. Keep an eye on it. Watch your step. 
Base camp is still a ways ahead. Don't move! Hands up! Back away from him! You're here? A mother base survivor? Hey, you okay? rubs off on me. I just had to shoot my brothers. I'm not gonna die here, that's for sure. I've got a long list of questions for you. What are those things? Where are we? 
What happened to my unit? Tell me. I'll answer your questions. Who are you? The man you're talking to. If you need a name, call me Good Luck. And you? What do I call you? Name's Reeve. <laughs> of course. What's so funny? Nothing, forget it. Now, as promised, let me answer your other questions. The monsters you encountered are called Wanderers. I'll spare you the details, but they were once human like you and I, until they were infected by some unknown life form, which turned them into what you saw. And you were in a world destroyed by Wanderers. Welcome to DT. It exists in a dimension separate from your own. Unknown life form? Separate dimension? What kind of shit are you trying to pull? This is no joke. Whether you believe me or not, look around you. Clearly you realize the predicament you're in. Which brings me to this. I want to give you an opportunity. Work with us. Do that, and I'll make sure you have a ticket out of there. We're your only lifeline. Surely you're not gonna turn that down. When this is over, I'm gonna send you to hell myself. I like that answer. Now, as before, head through those ruins to base camp. How you go about that is up to you and the captain. Captain? You mean this clown? You have an objection? We're the ones who went there to complete a mission in the first place. I didn't think you would have a problem taking orders from someone else. All right, whatever. Okay, I've got an idea. Like good luck said, we need to head to this base camp. But we have to make sure we don't bring any of those things with us. Luckily, I have some C4 an engineer in my unit was carrying. More than enough to bring this place down. I'll go plant the C4. Meanwhile, you get on out of here and secure our escape route. All right, let's get this show on the road. Don't you run off without me, Captain.